Can you tame your tongue and spread love? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. A burglar stalked the neighborhood watching for homes left unguarded by people leaving for a vacation. He watched as the family loaded their suitcases into their car and departed. He waited until dark and then approached the front door and rang the bell. There was no answer. The burglar neatly picked the lock and let himself in. He called into the darkness, Is anybody home? He was stunned when he heard a voice in reply, I see you and Jesus sees you. Terrified, the burglar called out, Who's there? Again the voice came back, I see you and Jesus sees you. The burglar switched on his flashlight and aimed it in the direction of the voice. He was instantly relieved when his light revealed a caged parrot reciting the refrain, I see you and Jesus sees you. The burglar laughed out loud and switched on the lights. Then he saw it. Beneath the parrot's cage was a huge Doberman pincher. Then the parrot said, Attack, Jesus, attack! In today's Gospel reading, a man possessed by a demon was cured by Jesus. The people who witnessed this miracle were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees saw it differently. It is the chief of the demons who gives Jesus the power to drive out demons. The people who witnessed Jesus' healing saw the good in what happened. The Pharisees looked at the situation and refused to acknowledge the good. Instead, they fabricated an illogical lie to confuse the people who were supposed to believe in their religious leaders. Their reasoning was illogical and irrational, for how could Jesus drive out demons if he were a demon himself? Would the demons help demons for the common bad? Surely the intention of the Pharisees is to bring people to hate Jesus and they thought their lies would convince them. We reflect today on our own disposition, attitude, and motivations when we see people doing good. Do we question their kindness and goodness, their charity and compassion, the help they give, and the good words they say? When you downplay the righteous acts of people by trying to convince others that they are just doing such either for show or with evil intentions, perhaps the Pharisee emerges in you. You lie to totally negate the good done by another. But even if your allegations are true, your envy and jealousy will be evident. In our Christian teaching of taming the tongue, we recall that this constitutes slander, a grave sin, because it can destroy the reputation of others, even if they were true. Notice how you react to people who you encounter for the first time. If you have heard of something negative about them, you become biased and prejudiced towards them, don't you? even if they have not done anything bad to you. Indeed, gossip and slander become one and the same when others are cast in a bad light because of the words we say about them to others. It is better to shut our lips when we have nothing good to say about others than to shoot people indiscriminately with our venomous words. Whatever you sow, you will reap from Galatians 6-7. As they say, what goes around comes around. We become the victims of our own victimizing at some point. Let us be peacemakers with our words. When we make fun of others to elicit laughter, let us carefully choose what we say. Sometimes envy, jealousy, anger, and hatred are disguised in humor like a stalking burglar. Let us be bridges of healing and reconciliation with words that only affirm, honor, and edify. Let us bring people to love people through the words we say about people. Let us only parrot the words of love Jesus utters. Let us be holy as He is holy. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, stop me from my human tendency of gossiping and lying about others. Grant me the grace to be a lover of people and honor them as I do you. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.